quick look at the Curio cabinet for sale by Coaster. Um, as you can see, it's it's about I think it's a little over five feet in height. Um, just to take a quick look, you can see this is how you actually open it. It's just a little metal tab that sticks out from the door here that you glue on a little rubber piece and then pressure keeps it on. And it's got two magnets, one at the top here, like so, and one at the very bottom at the base. And we have three glass shelves. Um, let me see, I have a Pepsi can. There we go, you can get an idea. Here, I'll even reclose it. You can get an idea for the size that you can put, how much you can fit on each shelf. Uh, it's, it's not a bad little curio display. I will say it's, for the price, it's, it is cheap. Uh, these are like fiberboard top and bottom, real chintzy compressed board. Uh, basically, you can see there's four metal tubes in each corner of it that screw into the base and the top. Actually, it looks like on mine, I don't know if you can tell here, the metal bar is slightly bent. came that way out of the box. Other than that, there was no real damage. The instructions, and you can see that they are pretty poor. Um, they do show some decent diagram blowouts. I mean, it's not that you can't tell what to do, but there's no instructions as you go. The only thing they really give you in this packet is on the very last page, there's a summary page. that kind of gives you a quick step one through seven. And it'd be nicer if, if they included details as you're assembling it. But, you know, the key really is, I think people have posted this on the comments before, determining which piece is the bottom. The bottom has uh, some real cheap plastic feet that screw into the bottom, so there's an extra set of screw holes on the bottom panel. Uh, once you have the feet on it and determine which is the bottom, you add the metal poles. And the, the instructions do show you step by step. Um, another thing, the shelves inside are the glass feels fine I mean it, it's decently thick uh, it feels sturdy it's tempered um, but you can see here how the the shelves are held up it's <laughs> it's just a cheap little uh, suction cup piece of rubber that you put a screw through into the metal poles here on the side it, it actually works fine though I mean for a curio cabinet you don't expect to be holding a whole lot of weight on each shelf and you really you know once you have it full of, of your curios. That's what will be drawing your attention anyhow, not the corners. But it is it is a bit cheap. For the I don't necessarily think that it's worth the hundred and whatever dollars Amazon's currently charging. I think it's like one forty. But I've had difficulty finding a curio case online. Um, I know IKEA makes one, but the shipping was so expensive that this was actually cheaper. And it's it's not bad. It does the job. It doesn't have to be real heavy duty, but don't be expecting a really nice, expensive piece of furniture or anything. Because this is, you know, it's made in Taiwan and it feels cheap. <clears throat> Once it's all assembled, you know, it, it is sturdy. You know, it doesn't rock side to side much at all. The the heavy glass, I think, really acts as a good weight to keep it in place. But um, this was just a quick look in case you're considering buying it. I, I, so far, I like it. I can't wait to get my curios in it. And uh, it gives me a good place to keep everything, nice heavy glass. Um, I think you'd be happy with it if, that, if that's your point, if, if that's your purpose in buying it, not as, a, as an expensive piece of furniture or anything. Not that, that it's that expensive, but as a piece of furniture, it's, it's low grade. But uh, I hope this, this helps you out. Thanks.